Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm back with another process video using products from the Wild Hair Kits. So if you didn't watch my unboxing, I'll link it down below. I mentioned that this is my last month with the Wild Hair Kits, and so I'm trying to bust through and use my stash from them rather than get a new kit this month. So I had this paper from um, the One Canoe Two Saturday Afternoon Collection, and I was hoarding it because it was this big, beautiful, like floral print. But I went ahead and fussy cut out part of the florals, and I'm going to use it for a Bible journaling entry. So I'm working in Psalm 150, verse six says, "Let everything that breathes praise the Lord, Hallelujah." And this is a song that we've been singing, or we've been singing a song around this verse uh, quite a bit at my church and so I just thought that I would create a really fun just big bold entry here nothing you know too in-depth with study or anything like that um, just kind of wanted to document this verse so I went ahead like I said fussy cut those out I'm going to kind of recreate this um, background with the paint texture using some acrylic paints. I also pulled out some enamel dots. These are ones that I've gotten in past kits and I just figured I could use these to kind of embellish and use some of them up. I also have a stencil. This is the Vicki Booten stencil that I got a couple months ago in one of my kits and I think I'm going to use some of these just to add some texture to the background. And then I also received some of these creative devotion markers a few months ago from the Wild Hair Kit and so I'm going to use this for my lettering. So let me go ahead and put you on fast forward and we will jump right in. Okay, so this ends up being a very simple Bible journaling entry. You could really do this with any floral pattern paper, just fussy cutting out the florals. So um, I'm starting out with the background and I've put some of these acrylic paints out onto my palette. Now typically when I paint with acrylic paints, I like to work with uh, a dry brush, but for this technique, I'm making sure that my brush is good and wet and I keep wetting it because that's gonna help the paint blend together and keep it wet while I work with it. So I'm going in with the lighter kind of minty color first and I don't want it perfect. I want it to look kind of dry and scratchy, which I know sounds odd since the brush is wet, but I want, it gets these like dry brush strokes uh, and lots of texture. And that is what I want with this because I'm wanting to kind of recreate the background that's on the paper. So now that I've got my light base down, I'm going in and picking up a little bit of the different colors on my brush. So I'll pick up a little bit of that really pale yellow and the deeper mint, um, pale yellow and the white, and I'm just adding little pieces of this into the background. Now, 95% of this ends up getting covered up with the um, fussy cut floral, but it's just part of my process. And this whole time I'm like thinking about the song, it's uh, So Will I by Hillsong United is the song that I was referring to. I'm playing that in my head. I'm looking at the scripture. I'm thinking about the scripture. I'm thinking what it means it to me. So this is just part of the Bible journaling process for me. So even though this all gets cut up or covered up, uh, it just gets me to just linger and spend some time thinking about the scripture. So once all that's down, I can go in with the stencil. This is that Vicki Booten stencil. And I searched online, I can't find this anywhere, so you might still be able to request it from the Wild Hair Kits, I'm not sure. But I'm just taking a gold Delicata uh, ink pad and I'm just smushing directly from the ink pad through the stencil. Again, I want lots of texture, I don't want it perfect, I just want little messy bits of gold in the background. And again, 95% of this gets covered up, but that's okay. So I go ahead and, um, Add this in several more places. I also go in and use the smaller little hash marks as well and go ahead and dry it, make sure everything is good and dry. And now we can attach this big floral piece. So I've pulled out a nonstick craft mat, some matte gel medium. Matte gel medium is meant to work like a glue. It's meant to work like a decoupage or something like that. So I'm just taking a paintbrush and applying this to the backside. Now I know some of you will be asking about Mod Podge. I don't use Mod Podge in my Bible because there is a tendency for it to create um, like a stickiness and your pages will stick together depending on how much moisture is in the air in the area that you live at. So I just completely avoid that. I reach for matte gel medium. Honestly, the Liquitex matte gel medium is about the same price as what you would pay for Mod Podge. And I know that it's 
matte and it's gonna work it's not gonna stick and so I just reach for this instead so just making sure that the back is good and covered I want this to completely adhere down to the page so it becomes a like a part of the Bible page now this works really well with this big bold piece but you could do something similar with other um, floral pattern papers just fussy cutting out those florals and then creating a background with those now I really kind of fussed with the lettering off camera. Um, I was gonna put it up towards the top of the page in the mint um, background area, but instead I decided to go ahead and write it over the florals. So I'm gonna use that gold um, creative devotion marker and it's kind of a deep gold. And so it's kind of hard to read when I write over the top of the florals. So I'm gonna add a little bit of a highlight with a Uniball Signo white gel pen. So I'm just using that T ruler to give myself a straight line while I do my lettering. This is a trick that really helps you, especially in the illustrating Bible where there's no lines. <laughs> um, this is to make sure that I don't write at a slant. And I didn't pencil this in first, I just kind of went for it. This font, this kind of like whimsical hand done um, print is one that is messy it's not supposed to be perfect and so I don't feel like I need to go in and write it out first if I'm gonna be doing something that's a little bit more scripty then I usually go in with my pencil first but you can see I'm just going in, in with that gold marker I'm using a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters and I just want it to be kind of fun and messy it's gonna spell out let everything that has breath praise him and then I can go back in with that white gel pen and I'm just adding a little bit of a highlight to the left side and to the bottom, which is actually the opposite for a highlight typically, but that's just, that's just usually where I put it. So now as a finishing touch, I'm just gonna go in and use up a bunch of my enamel dots. Again, the whole theme of this month is busting my stash. And sadly, this is gonna be my last video with the wild hair kits. I am all done with the design team. I'm taking a step back just kind of getting organized, busting through my stash. I will still be working with the Wild Hair Kit products. Um, I just won't be creating for the design team. So a little bit bittersweet. Definitely go check out the blog post so you can see more up close photos of this project and my other projects that I've had over there. Um, it's, it's sad. I've had so much fun creating with all of these ladies on the team. They've just been amazing. So as my finishing touches, I just went ahead and outlined the verse, that's Psalm 150, verse 6. And then I'm using a white Delicata ink to stamp the date. And that's going to be it for the entry today. Really, really simple. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for links to everything that I mentioned. Definitely go head on over and check out the Wild Hair Kits and request your hand curated kit. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.